things I didn't know about being an influencer until I became one. I don't know if this is just a thing in Canada, but I don't make any money on TikTok through the creator fund. Like, TikTok doesn't pay me at all. All my income co goes through um, brand deals and partnerships. I know you can make pretty good money on TikTok, like a couple thousand dollars. I don't know, depending on your views. Um, but I know you make more with brand deals. And then this was my mistake. I feel like once you start blowing up and getting a platform, it's really important to sign with either like a manage manager or like an agent. Especially for me, I feel like because I started blowing up in my senior year of high school and I was still working at a restaurant, so I was so stressed. Like all the time, trying to balance my like school life, my work life, my social media life. And when I signed with my agents, I'm telling you guys, fucking game changer. So kind of like how it worked, basically I had a bunch of people reaching out to me and then I kind of just did my, re my research on each company and picked what was the best for me. And I'm telling y'all, as soon as I signed with them, like, felt like a burden of stress was just, like, lifted off my shoulders. Having a team that supports you is, like, literally the best thing ever, and it just feels so good. And they will always get you the best offer for any deal, like, ever. Like, I remember when I first started TikTok and I got my first email that was like, oh, like, what's your rate? I was like, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean what's my rate? And any offer that came my way just sounded so good because... Any amount of money was just so good for me. I was just a 17 year old. Well, I still am, but I literally remember like I would be up until 2 a.m. reading my fucking contracts where like it was 10 pages long. And I feel like a lot of people tend to like drop out of school after they start becoming super big on social media. Like, don't get me wrong, the money is good, but I feel like you always have to be three steps ahead. Like, social media is still such a newly developed concept. concept but it's not like a permanent forever like job like people forget that you can fall off anytime and it's scary but it's always good to have a backup plan so it's good to stay in school <laughs> this isn't by no means any shade to anyone that dropped out or like doesn't go to school also the most important thing to remember is there could be 10 million people who love you but there's always gonna be people who hate you and that's like totally normal like you can't have everyone that loves you all the time like people will always be like haters just my little tippy um anyways yeah that's it bye guys hey guys get ready with me to go to the plaza i'm literally so tired this is the earliest i've woken up during the whole holidays but my mom's gonna go to the dentist first and then we're gonna go to the plaza I might get my nails redone today. I don't know. I wanted to get them done before I go back to school. Me is in my room now, but yeah, school starts so soon and I'm not excited about it at all. Anyways, I'm nearly out of my Drunk Elephant moisturizer. So when I run out, I don't know what moisturizer to get. I kind of want to get the Toucher one. Like yeah. You get me were playing Roblox last night and I just remembered how much I love Roblox, so I'm going to start playing it again. Also, my dew drops are like empty and I don't know why. I feel like I haven't, like I barely used them. They're not empty, but like, I don't know. They just don't pump properly. Papa really wants to wear my clothes because she's going to her friend's house and she always does this. She literally wears my clothes all the time and I don't care as long as she asks, but she doesn't ask. She I just wears it. Anyways, Mia's saying that she hates the plaza and she doesn't want to go. So mom's going to go to her dentist appointment and dad's going to get a massage. And then after we're going to go somewhere else. So me and Harper are going to have like barely any time at the plaza, so we're just going to run around and Harper's going to come to like Mecca and Sephora with me, right Harper? No. I said that she could wear my jumper if she just goes wherever I want to go when mum and dad are like at their appointments. Also, look what happened to my blush. I think Mia used it and she didn't roll it down before she closed the lid. I really want to buy more lashes before I go back to school because I hate doing mascara. Anyways, in year 7, I remember wearing, like, the exact same mascara, like, for the whole week. Like, from Monday to Friday. And then every morning, I just, like, put a little bit more. And then it was really bad for my lashes. Harper's in my room again. Vink take or bind to Glatine. That song's stuck in my head almost. Mm. Selling spray. This perfume smells so good. Okay, <gasps> boy.
let's get ready for clinical round two this week. Today's our mass casualty incident and it's going to be somewhere in school today and we don't know what it is, we don't know what to expect, we just have to like go and then figure it all out. So that's what we got to get ready for. Ooh, I don't know when I get ready. I'm really trying to get every last drop here. Okay, I'm gonna go grab the scrubs. For today's scrubs, we got these like lime green ones. We're told to go get secondhand scrubs because we're probably just gonna have to throw them away afterwards because they usually get ruined. So these are the ones I found and I actually love this green color. I think it's so fun. Here are the bottoms and it's the brand Cherokee, which I actually have some other scrubs in. I looked at these, so I don't know if you actually can get them anywhere. I've tried them on yet, so I'm praying they fit. We'll see. They do fit. The bottoms are slightly tight. Other than that, they fit, so I think we'll be fine. And the color is so cute. I wish we could wear these to the hospital. That would be so fun. I will say I'm excited for this clinical because I think it'll be a really cool learning experience. However, on a Saturday after I just had another clinical the day before, it's not the best vibes, but I think it'll be really cool. I'm just gonna do super minimal makeup because I'll probably be getting very dirty today, but it won't really matter. So we were told to bring a stethoscope, a flashlight, or like a headlamp, but I, I do not have a headlamp. So flashlight it is. I had to watch a lot of prep videos on like how to do tourniquets and different things like that. I honestly feel like a lot of the things that need to happen during an emergency are out of the scope of practice of nurses. Like you can only really do so much until it needs to be like a doctor or you have to have like special training or certifications. So I'm not exactly sure how that's gonna go because I feel like I just can't really do that much. One of my supplies for the drill is probably gonna be a Summer Fridays lip balm because I can't go without this. We'll have her next to like the tourniquets. Okay, time for hair. Don't know what we're doing yet. Maybe a clock lip bun? I feel like it needs to be very out of my face, out of the way, because I do not want to get sticky stuff in my hair. We could do green to match the scrubs. Is that doing way too much? It might be. <laughs> it's done. I honestly love the green with the scrubs. It's so cute. Today's definitely the day for extra deodorant. For today's bad deal, we're just going with the one they give us from school because I do not want to ruin one of my cute ones. I actually love that it has this little loop right here. That is so nice for hanging your badge. If you're already for our MCI drill, I'll definitely update you guys on how it goes because I'm very curious to see what happens and what emergency we get. But I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you later. Hey guys, get ready with me while I tell you about my celebration day at my old school. When I was there, yeah, I didn't know what to expect to be honest. But we sat down and I was sat down with my friends, Amelia and Lizzie, yeah, okay. And there was these two girls that go to my school that were just being absolutely horrible and being B words, all right? I'm trying to minimise, minimise, minimise the amount of times I swear. Anyway, let's get back to the story. So for each subject, one person, like one person for each subject got an award. So that's like how many subjects did we do at school? Like less than 20 out of the 250 people that were in our school, yeah. So you've got to be pretty lucky to get these rewards, yeah. And my friend Amelia, who was also head girl... Got one of these rewards. I did as well. Sorry, just had to put that in there. I'm just friggin' amazing, alright? And of course it was for science. So while Amelia is going up to get her award, yeah, these two girls think it's acceptable to start booing at her when everyone's clapping. Last time I checked, I did not see you getting no reward, alright? So I don't know who I don't know who you think you are, because you ain't getting nothing. Why are you even here? You may as well go home at this point bit cuckoo in the end i just think that's quite mean and they're just like jealous of her because she's head girl as well so basically moral of the story they're just jealous because they are not head girl and they not get no reward because they do not deserve it all right okay didn't see you get no reward i did you did not okay leave go home i actually spilled this and i'm really upset but i have had a couple people like that in my lifetime and I actually feel really sorry for them, like, you don't have a life, you think about other people too much, you don't have anything good going for you, and you're literally sticking with your little friend or your best friend or your buddy, but you don't even like each other, you're just with each other because you don't have any other choice, you don't have anyone else to go to, okay? If you two were not friends with each other, you would not have no one, so you just stuck to each other, yeah, because you have no one else, until you find someone else, and blah, 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 do you know what I mean, like, Shut up. Anyways, I'm rubbing all this stuff on my face, but my face just feels nasty, so now I'm nasty, so now I feel like I need to wash it. This is just pointless. And I'm really upset because I spilt this, and I need to buy a new one. Also, I went to the dentist, yeah, and they numbed my mouth, and I've got, like, some massive, like, bruise from where they numbed it, and it really is. <laughs> I literally just did my skincare, and now I just want to wash it off because my face feels nasty. Bye, guys. I'm so excited for today. I'm not really sure why, because I don't have anything that's like overly exciting happening. I'm just going to school, but I have really good subjects at school. And then after school, I'm gonna go hang out with my friends. And don't mind my voice, I'm still a little bit sick. Anyways, we're gonna do my hair first, because it's already like starting to dry. I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet though. 
I think I'm gonna do a bun. <laughs> so funny, it's every time I'm getting ready, she comes and sits with me and looks out the window. I'm gonna like put my hair into a bun later. But I lost my really good spoolie from MK Beauty. I don't know where it went, but it was literally the best thing ever. So I'm using this half of a spoolie that I found to slick back my hair. I don't think it's gonna work very well. I could use my eyebrow gel, I'm not sure how that would go, but it has like no product left in it, so I feel like it'll be fine. I hope that doesn't make my hair all crusty. But I'm thinking of washing it tonight anyway. Where has the sun gone so funny? It was so sunny, and as soon as I started filming, the sun just went like all away. You know what? I'm gonna put up my face first and then I'll put on the skin tint after. As soon as I said that, the sun's back now. When my friends come over this afternoon, I think we're going to make friendship bracelets because we all got tickets for the Aries Tour movie. I am so excited. I already have this massive bag full. I don't know why I put them in here. I'll take them out when we actually go to the movie, but I have so many. I can't believe that the movie's tomorrow, though. Like, you don't understand how excited I am. Maybe that's why I'm excited today. Um, we're skipping Contour and Blush today because I just haven't really been doing it recently. But we'll do lashes. I added a bit too much mascara on. I hate wearing a lot of mascara. I don't know why. I feel like then it goes like all flaky and weird. Um, but I'm going to put on some eyebrow gel now. I actually saw that Mecca has a new eyebrow gel and I really want to test it out. It looks so good. It's like that orange one. Kind of clear. It has like the two sides to it. But I really want to go test that one out because it looks pretty good. I have no idea where my purple went. It always happens. I always lose my purple, then I go to buy another one, and then it just shows up randomly somewhere. But let's put my little mini Vaseline on the top. I used to use this, like, every single day, 24-7. And then I just forgot about it. This is actually so good. I need to take it to school, so I'm going to leave it on my desk. But the rest of this can go away. That's it. I hope you all have a great day. Hey, guys. Good morning, and let's get ready to go to school. Okay. As you can see, I'm wearing a sweater, and obviously, um, it is not the time to be wearing sweaters because it is literally, like, a thousand degrees outside, but it's, like, <laughs> I really want to wear a hoodie, and it's, like, my classrooms are so cold. I'm using the Affiliance, um, Illuminating Highlighting Drops to mix in my moisturizer, but yeah, it's just, like, they're just so comfortable, and I just really want it to be hoodie season, so I'm just gonna wear my white fox hoodie because this is, like, the most comfortable thing I ever like owned. I'm using some of this Dr. Jart's Tiger Balm because I have like two pimples right here and they're like really red. So going with my glow screen, I need to get more of this stuff. It's actually like amazing. Like I love using this. I'm also going with my site, but I'm being super tedious of how I apply my makeup because I do not want it on this hoodie. Like this hoodie is just too precious for me. I hate how chapped my lips feel in the morning, so I'm just gonna use this for lip gloss because this is what I find most hydrating out of all my lip glosses. I'm just going with Elf Halo Glow. Um, I wanted to get a darker shade, like shade four, because this is shade three. But now that I'm losing my tan, this is like becoming my perfect shade again. So, so this is kind of like too light for me, but I'm just spot concealing the places that I have pimples. While I wait for that to like dry, I'm gonna use my Tarte contour one this stuff is actually good i'm so happy my friend loved it here and forgot about it so now i use it but this is actually like really good also i'm listening to folklore in the back because it's folklore month and it's like the only album you can listen to in the whole month okay now that i covered up all my pimples i'm just gonna use this lancome concealer i love this concealer it's actually like very creamy and i love it so much Listening to Exile after the summer I turned pretty is no joke because you might start crying if you're Team Belly and Team Conrad. Actually, no, scratch that. Not Team Belly because what was Belly doing like the last two episodes? Like, no, I'm not Team Belly. I'm Team Conrad getting a happy ending. Okay, I'm gonna use my Beauty Bakery Scents powder. I don't even know where. Like, I love the idea to buy it, but thank you to whoever recommended this to me because. It is my holy grail product. Like, my makeup stays on all day. Okay, but I actually really want to have a conversation about, like, Conrad and Jeremiah and Belly. Because, have you guys read the books? Like, people that are Team Jeremiah, are we really watching the same show right now? 
like there's absolutely no way and some people like I, that i know are team connor and they haven't even read the book so like what are team jeremiah people on like you guys do realize the only reason that team Jer that jeremiah wanted belly in the first place was because she was so in love with conrad and conrad was slowly falling for her like like season one he literally tried to kill them with a firework and then lied and said that he didn't see them out there when you know they did and you know conrad would have never done that and listen i understand conrad was being a jerk literally like 95 percent of the show but him and his brother both deal with grief very differently like they were both losing their moms they were both going through things and if it were Jeremiah, I'm sure Jeremiah wouldn't have been all so gutty gutty and happy when Belly was with him. Like, you guys have to realize, both of these kids literally lost their mothers. Like, there's no way. I just, I just don't understand. But the real person we should be hating on here is Belly, because it's only been a month since her and Conrad broke up, and she's already giving smoochies with his brother. Like, how low do you have to drop? Like, actually. That's, like, actually one of the worst things I've ever seen, because who does that? And also that since like actually no it's been like a month and a half since she broke up with conrad and it's been like literally a month since they lost their mothers how are you gonna go and play them like that that's bad like actually tell me like how are you gonna go tell conrad oh i would have fought for us like why didn't you tell me that you love me that much and then two days later you're gonna go smoochy with his brother on conrad's car in his sweatshirt in front of his school be so for real belly like this is embarrassing and that was my rant for the summer I turned pretty. If you guys watched it, I hope you enjoyed that. This is gonna be like a speed round, okay? So I'll frolift on the brows. Time for my literal favorite part ever. Why are August lyrics low-key hitting more recently? <laughs> Okay guys, after a quick little listen of folklore, I'm finally done with my makeup. Um, that's it. Bye guys, hope you have a good day. Hey guys, get ready with me for the first day of school. Okay, I have like 50 minutes to get ready, so I think that's a good amount of time. I did my nails yesterday. I think they're so cute. They look better in person, but they're like chrome. I was really dreading today. I just need to like switch my social battery on for school, if you know what I mean. I need this to last literally all day because I have practice after school too. And as soon as I get to school, I'm gonna try and change my schedule because I'm dropping out of a class. <laughs> because at the end of last year, I thought I was super smart and I decided to like sign up for three APs. Like, I do not have the time for that. I'm also driving like two hours after school or after practice to go somewhere. I'm getting back at like midnight. We're going to watch like this music show thing. I don't know, but my dad wanted to celebrate our accomplishments. I planned out my first day of school outfit a month before school started last year. This year, I literally picked it out yesterday. And this year, summer, so short. It's literally the first week of August and they're starting school. And I feel like this is the palest summer I've ever been. If you live on the East Coast, I think you know what I mean. There was no sun in the East Coast. Also, they're starting school on a Wednesday, which is kind of weird to start the first day of school on. But I would rather do that than start on a Monday, so. I'm gonna do my lashes off camera because I need them to be extra perfect. Okay, I just finished my lashes. I feel like they make me look like a completely different person and more awake, but I also learned this trick where you take a bronzer and you put it in the outer corner right here. I'm gonna do it with my fingers for these. Now, does that look weird? I can't really tell. I think we're doing pretty good on the time. I literally got ready in like 10 minutes and I feel like if I do it on camera, it goes by so much faster. Why is like preparing for school a full day event? Like yesterday I was working. Like the everything shower, the whole event. Okay, I don't know how my eyebrows look. I literally cannot focus right now. I literally still don't know what I'm wearing yet. So I guess we're gonna pick that out on camera. What I forgot? I forgot bronzy drops. That's why I look pale. Anyways, I'm taking powder and I usually never wear powder, but I wouldn't need to today. Okay, it's 7.20 and I really, really need to pick out an outfit. This is the makeup. Okay, I went with what y'all said and I did outfit number two with these shoes and I think it's a good pick. But I'm already for school and I'm gonna go pack my bags. Bye, I love you guys. Good morning, everyone. Let's get ready to go to the airport. I'm so excited. For those who don't know, we're going to Sydney with MK Beauty, which is just crazy. It's awesome. Oh my God, did you guys just see that? Why do I always fill my sunscreen? Anyway, it's like 4 a.m. right now and we need to be at the airport by six o'clock. I am just so excited right now. I can't contain it. I'm 
so so grateful for this opportunity like if you told me like less than a year ago like a few months ago that i'd be going to sydney with the brands i would not believe you like i might actually put on a tiny bit of the mk beauty flawless glow i'm also so excited to see lily and lucy because you haven't seen them in ages ago i don't even remember the last time i actually hanged out with them we've just all been so busy i don't even think we've met their new puppies yet I just made a coffee because I thought I'd fall asleep because I do normally wake up early but not at 4am, that's a bit too much. So I'm pretty sure also as soon as we land we're going to go out and have a side balls with Lily and Lucy and have lunch with them. So I want energy. I'm also going out for dinner. I just dropped my moisturiser, that's fine. Um, and we're also going out for dinner tonight as well. So I'm so excited to go on the plane though. I feel like it's just so relaxing because you don't have anything to do on the plane and wait guys i have three makeup bags right now because i like to separate everything into like categories like brushes and everything i'm so weird anyway um yeah i just like going on the plane because i can just read or watch movies and everything it's just so relaxing because you have nothing you can really do i'm gonna mix these two blushes together as well i feel like that's gonna be very pretty also i got my nails done yesterday i don't have any of my jewelry on i need to remember that i actually want to put on now quickly Okay, jewelry's all on. That is so much better. Um, anyway, I have exam block next week, guys, which is a bit scary because I'm not going to have, like, this. That's a lot of blush. I'm not going to have this weekend to, like, prepare for my exams. So I'm going to have to cram it all in, like, throughout the week of them. But it's so worth it because I'd much rather be going to Sydney this weekend than studying. I feel like you can't tell on camera or well, actually in person either if that blush did anything. But anyway... Also, is everyone watching Love Island this year? Because it is such a good season. Like, there is so much drama. I actually think it's one of my favourite seasons by far. I don't want to spoil anything for whoever's watching. So I won't really say anything. But I hate Nate so much. Like, unpopular opinion. But I just find him so annoying. Like, he says everything to make other people like him. Not because he actually believes in it, if that makes any sense. If anyone has any movie suggestions... Comment down below because I want to download some movies to maybe watch on the plane. I am planning on reading, although I am really tired right now. So I'm not too sure if I will be able to. I'll probably also be filming quite a few vlogs like over this weekend, like today and tomorrow. And of course, I'm going to add on my Gisu lip oil. I'm all ready for the airport. I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye, everyone. Hey, guys. Today, I'm going to show you my in-depth makeup routine. A couple of people asked for this because I had one on my old account. But obviously it doesn't exist anywhere. Okay, so I would like any moisturizer, but usually it's the Junk Elephant one. And then I mix in my Deep Bronzer Drops. Today's my mom's birthday, which is why I'm getting ready. Okay, so I rub it in, and then depending how tired I am, I either will go into my Milk Concealer or my Rare Beauty Undry Brightener. I also put it on, like, any spots, and then I just blend it in with my Beauty Blender. Okay, then I go in with my e.l.f. Halo Glow in the shade 3, and I put it, like, under my eyes. And like on my chin and forehead. I also like highlight my nose. Okay, then I go with my Rarity Bronzer in the shade Always Sunny. And I just put it like on my forehead and here. And then I contour my nose. I like this shade because it's like warm tone. So it just makes me feel like tan and like bronze. Guys, I got my mom really good gifts. But I can't say it because she watches these. Okay, then I go with my Rarity Blush in the shade Happy. And I put like one or two dots. And then with it, I put on the Rarity Highlight in the shade enchant and i also do like two dots right on top i love her beauty i also put that on my nose okay and then i blend in with the real techniques 405 brush it blends out your blush like so nicely okay now i'm done with all the cream products so i set my face with the nyx bear with me that expect okay now i do eyebrows and i only fill them in if i'm in the mood but i use the ulta brow pencil and it's in the shade like dark brown or something espresso but it's low-key too light for me I just like lightly fill them in like on the top. Okay, and then I use like a lot of different brow gels, but I think my favorite right now is the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, but in the mini size. Like, it's just better at mini. And I just like brush them like that. Next, I curl my eyelashes with the Shiseido Eyelash Curler, and I do it like how Alex Earl does it. Like, I literally make my eye fall out, and it works. Okay, I also use like so many different mascaras. Like, I literally switch it every single day, but... Hmm, I don't know. Oh, and I like to put on the um, Maybelline Lash Sensational Boosting Serum before mascara. I forgot. Okay, I think these three are the mascaras we're going to use today. Better than Sex, and then Volley Lash, and then Glossier. Okay, these are the finished lashes. It's definitely not 
and amazing last day, but it's fine. Okay, now I go with my makeup by Mario Transforming Skin Enhancer in the shade medium, and I use the Real Techniques 400 brush. And like, I kind of just put this like all over my face, and I just love it. Like, it makes you just like tan and pretty. Then I'll go in with the Patrick Ta blush, and I do like a little bit of the powder first, and then the cream over. And this is like a random brush from like MOTD or something. I, don't know. I just really like blush, which is why I go in with like 50. And for highlight, I use my beloved cookie highlighter, which I am still obsessed with. Okay, for some reason, it just like spilled all over me and my desk. Um, so I'm kind of mad at it. Okay, lips is something that I like always switch up. But oh my god, I completely forgot to stop. Okay, I can't find the step, but I like to put brown eyeliner in my upper waterline. But today I'm using black because I can't find the brown. It just makes your lashes look so full. You want to do this before mascara, though. Okay, this is it with the eyeliner. I just feel like it makes it look, like, a thousand times better. Okay, I'm using my NYX um, lip liner in the shade Peekaboo Neutral. This is a Pillow Talk dupe, in my opinion. Okay, then I use the YSO um, lipstick in... No, I don't know what the shade is. It's so pretty. Yeah, that's it. Normally, I'll just put on real lip gloss or, like, my Summer Fridays or Venage or literally anything this is my like in-depth like going somewhere makeup routine because i'm going to dinner tonight so yeah bye guys hey guys get ready with me okay i'm just gonna start off by mixing these two because this is so good but it's a bit too dark for me so i just like mix it with my moisturizer anyways i don't really have like a lot of plans today and i don't really know where i'm getting ready to go but it's fine we'll figure it out Okay, so I'm just rubbing it in right now, and it's really settled. Like, before, I just used the, um, like, the Glotion just by itself, and it was a bit too dark, but I feel like this is perfect. Okay, I love this. I feel so glowy right now. Okay, in person, it definitely does look a bit more tan than in the camera, but it's okay. Okay, to start off, I'm just using this Milk Concealer. I actually really like it. I tried it yesterday, and it's actually really nice. Okay, this is where I put it, and I definitely feel like this shade's a bit light, but it's fine. Okay, concealer's done, now it's time to move on to blush. Okay, ignore my squeaky chair, it's really annoying. Okay, this is the blush I'm using today, this is the shade Encourage. And by the way, by Rare Beauty, obviously. Okay, I'm just using this Fit Me powder, and I also just wanted to say, like, if you want to start to get ready with the account, like, don't be scared to, because at the end of the day, like, you're doing it for yourself, not to make other people happy. But, like, I'm in high school now, so, like... There's a lot of people who could be judging me at school, but I don't care. Anyways, this powder's so good. Go get it. Okay, now I'm just using this Fit Me blush. Um, I like to go over my liquid blushes with a powder blush. I don't know why. I think it just looks better. Okay, now I'm just using this Rare Beauty Highlighter. It's so nice. I love it. Okay, next I'm just using this Benefit Brow Gel. This stuff is so good. I love it so much. Okay, now I'm just curling my lashes. Okay, lashes are curled. Now I'm just using this primer by L'Oreal. Okay, primer's done. Now I'm just going to use this Essence Mascara. Okay, first coat's done. I love this mascara. It's actually so good. And so cheap, too. It's like five bucks. Okay, next I'm just using this Bad Girl Bang Mascara. Okay, now I'm just blow-drying them up. Okay, I'm done. Okay, now I'm just using this Rare Beauty Highlighter, and I'm just, like, highlighting my nose and my inner corners, because I think it looks good. Okay, now I'm just wiping the mascara off my lids. Now I'm just using this Laneige Lip Mask. Okay, so now I'm just brushing my hair. Okay, that's it. Bye, guys. Get ready with me, plus a hair tutorial. Bro, I swear every day, my allergies are just getting worse and worse, and it's so bad. And my nose is, like, peeling really bad, and it's so annoying. A lot of people asked where my top was from in the last video, and it's from Gilly Hicks. So I made, like, an Amazon storefront where, like, I linked all the makeup I use. Because I'll, like, respond to one comment and, like, tell them where it's from. And then there's, like, I see 20 other comments asking the same thing. So I just linked everything. Also, guys, Ariana Grande made new music. So I'm about to, like, go listen to that in a second. So my lashes aren't doing that great today, but it's fine. I forgot to put on primer, too. Whoops. So today I'm not going to use the e.l.f. Halo Glow because I just don't feel like it. And I'm not really doing that much today. So I'm just going to put on concealer. For some random reason, I've been having, like, this weird blonde obsession. Like, I like blonde guys better than brunette guys right now, and it's so weird. Like, over the summer, I was obsessed with brunette guys, but now since we started school, I, like, love blonde guys. It's so weird. I saw this one comment asking if I lived with my grandma, and no, I don't live with my grandma. She's just watching me for, like, end of August and beginning of September. 
And it's because my mom is in like one of the I states. I literally don't know what state she's in. And then my mom comes back for like four days after that. And then she leaves again for like trial prep in September. So hopefully my mom is back before my birthday though, because my birthday is in September. It's September 20th, but I think she'll be back. I just don't know. But I mean, it's not that big of a deal if she misses it because 15 isn't that big of a birthday. I just find it like really crazy how I can like basically legally drive this year. Like that's just super cool. Like in Texas, you can drive with your permit at 15. I don't know if that's like that for all other states, but you can drive with your permit at 15 with like a parent in the car, obviously. So I'm just like really excited to be able to drive because I'm literally getting my permit the minute I turn 15. I don't know how long the classes are for like driver's ed. I think they're like six weeks. Is it, if I, correct me if I'm wrong, but like, I don't know. But I'm just like super excited for that. Anyways, I'm gonna blow dry my hair and then I'll get back to y'all for the hair tutorial. So not gonna lie, I filmed that like get ready with me like way earlier in the day and now it's like way later, but it's fine. I'm gonna do the curling part. So I think this is like a one inch barrel. This curling iron, I've had it since sixth grade. It's really like not even that good, but I'm pretty sure it's just like just a one inch barrel. So I'm going to try to explain this the best way I can, so just bear with me. And I'm not curling my whole hair because I don't feel like it. Okay, so you want to take a really small section if you have thick hair, because the smaller the sections, the more the curl stays. And you're going to want to, like, make sure whenever you curl it, it's, like, flat, like this. Do not, like, if, if you go like, really fast, it, like, makes it bumpy, and it looks really bad. Also, whenever you're curling your hair, make sure it goes away from your face, like this. And going towards your face would be like this. So you don't want it to come towards you, you want it to go away from you. Okay, so whenever I'm doing my front pieces, I like to leave the little straight piece so it can like frame my face. And I just hold it for like a little while, like probably like, I don't know how many seconds, but a little while. And then I like to do this and like it like scrunch it up so it like stays better. And then it should look something like this. And then I like to brush it out with a comb so it looks like this yeah personally i don't think my curly hair is that good but here's the tutorial for all of you watching and thanks for watching today's get right with me i've been drinking jack and coke a lot sucking on my lollipops listening to my hard rock mute, mute, mute music thinking about you quite a lot smoking all my cigarettes missing what we used to got yeah yeah you kid hi guys get rid of me for school Okay, so today is Friday, but the thing is, I've got to hurry up because I'm going to be late. The thing is, the reason why I'm going to be late, because I, because I had a chat, um, because I had a bath this morning, and, yeah, and I think I'm going to be late. So, let's just hurry up. So, I'm just going to do some blow recipe time. Do not break off, I swear to God. My face is like really dry, so I need to do skincare. Cause like, is it just me, or does your face get dry whenever you don't after a shower, or like when you come out of a swimming pool or something, your face goes dry? Cause that is literally me. But no, sorry. Okay. Hold on. No, 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 no. Okay. Shoot. Okay, don't mind this yellow thing. Look, oh, you might. I just saw there's like paint on my arm. Um, me, my uh, cardigan. I'm really, I can't do anything else. Wait, just wait. Right, so now, perfume. Right, guys, see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Very quick video. It is way too early right now. Oh, my gosh. I'm actually struggling to have vision. It is that early. It is 20 past 7. Okay, that's not even that early. I need to stop being dramatic. Um, But usually I get up at, like, 40 past. But look, guys, I've done the dressing gown robe curls, and I haven't done them in forever, and I thought... 
I'll try them again because the last few times I've done them, they didn't work. My hair does feel a little bit damp still, so I don't reckon it's going to have worked properly. But at least it stayed in, so that is a good start. Also, guys, I've started um, making my 500 cake giveaway and getting all the stuff. So that'll be out when I hit 500k. Okay, skincare is done. I'm going to take my hair out now. It doesn't really matter if it did work because I've got PE anyway, so it's probably going to fall out. But why did it not work? That's so annoying. Look, I'm actually really not. Mm. Are you actually taking the mic? What is going on? It's wavy, but I wanted like proper curls. Oh well, never mind. We'll just have to deal with this hair. I'm probably gonna scrape it back and just slick it back. Anyways, today I saw this girl do this thing with her concealer, right? And she put concealer on where she usually does, and then she gets a bit of like her cream blush. And she just mixes like the tiniest bit in with her concealer. I don't know what this does. We're going to try it. And then you just blend it out with your concealer. I don't think I put enough on. But anyways, that's quite cute. I've got like this little mark here and it just won't go. So we're just going to try and cover it with more concealer. Time for bronzer. So I don't look so pale and pasty. Actually, I did fake tan my face last night, but I done it with actual fake tan instead of fake tan in drops. I couldn't find my fake tan in drops, so I had to do it with actual fake tan, which isn't actually good for your skin. Time for some cream blusher, and I need to hurry up because my mum just came in and she was like, we gotta go, and I'm obviously not ready because I'm still in my fluffy pyjamas. I want this song to be associated somewhere in my life, um, Skyfall by Adele, because I just love it, like, whether it's at my funeral or my wedding, just somewhere. I'm just using a tiny bit of powder so that my face isn't so shiny. I'm just adding a tiny bit of highlighter to my face. Time for mascara and look how disgusting my eyelash curler is. I need to clean that ASAP. That mascara took way longer than intended and it is not a good eyelash day because you literally cannot even see my lashes. I just sprayed this on my face and it came up in all blobs instead of like a fine mist. I hope you all have a great day at school, if you go to school. Bye.